welcome to a brand new week-long challenge. I am nervous and excited. I haven't done one of these uh, week-long challenges in like a few months, but bitch, I'm back. And this week, I am going to be eating only Smart Ones frozen meals. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner for a whole week. That's it. I'm gonna weigh myself before. I actually just took a big cock off and I'm currently 162.6 pounds. And at the end of the week, after I eat all these smart ones for a whole week, I'm gonna see if I actually lose weight and if smart ones actually works. Now, I have done uh, lean cuisine in the past and I really struggled because the meals were so small. They didn't feel um, nutritional at all. And it was just super, super, super hard. And so this time I decided so that I don't feel malnourished to also so allow myself to eat veggies and fruit as much as I want along with the smart one meals because these meals just are not big enough for a grown man to be eating three times a day. I think that veggies and fruit will help me a lot without affecting the outcome. So I think that'll be a lot better. Um, and also, by the way, side note, do not try this at home. I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist, so don't do what I do. This is just a challenge for me to try at my own risk. Do not try it at home. And this is not sponsored by Smart Ones at all or any other brand. And also this is not intended to be against Smart Ones or anything like that. If it turns out like a really hard challenge or I don't like the food, it's just my opinion. Oh, it's my opinion. And my personal experience. So I just wanna say that. So yeah, um, I already bought like half of my meals. I'm gonna have to buy the other half later on in the week because while I was grocery shopping, I literally couldn't fit all the meals plus my base groceries and household items into the cart. I just, it would not fit. So I bought half the meals. I'm gonna show them to y'all now and then we will start. It is 1047. I have not had breakfast yet, obviously. I'm a hungry, hungry whore. So I have um, 11 meals right here. Half of the week, basically. So we have some ravioli florentine. It looks like some kind of ravioli with veggies all around it. By the way, of course, throughout this video, as I eat each meal, I'm gonna taste test them as well so that y'all know which Smart Ones meals taste the best, at least in my opinion. In my opinion, we love that for us. Now this is creamy rigodoni with brangli and jingle. So it seems like a alfredo -y type of pasta, love that. Same sound beef pink raised. Y'all know that I recently made pot roast and it turned out real dry. So who knows, maybe, <laughs> maybe this will be better, bitch. Breakfast quesadilla, back in my teen years, I would eat this one all the time, literally, when I was trying to be a skinny legend. This has two servings, I will be eating both, hello, cause even both together is still a small ass serving. Cheesy scramble with hash browns, looks dry. Angel hair marinara. This looks like a delicious pasta minus all the veggies thrown into it. What is the point of that? We don't want it. I mean, like, I like veggies, I do. I just don't like squashes and zucchinis. I'm a basic bitch. I'll do broccoli, I'll do carrots, I'll do Brussels, but the whole squash family can rot, literally. Ham and cheese scramble, so it's a little different than the other. A breakfast one is just more mixed together, so that's fun. Three cheese ziti with meatballs. Y'all, I used to have this one a lot back in my teen years, and it's actually delicious, I think. Santa Fe rice and beans. I used to live very near Santa Fe when I was a kid. <laughs> fun fact. So it's gonna taste like home. Chicken fettuccine. And last but not least, slow roasted turkey breast. Of course, I'm gonna buy more later in the week and I'll show you all that batch. But for now, this is the first batch and I'm gonna start eating right now. So what should I have? I feel like I should have breakfast for breakfast, right? I think I'll have this ham and cheese scramble. Yay! It says scrambled egg whites and ham on a bed of orana roasted potatoes. We love a collaboration. Topped with cheese. It is 190 calories. Super insanely low, Lord have mercy. Eight grams of fat, 600 milligrams of sodium, which is a lot of course, but these are frozen meals. So that is actually normal for frozen meals, sadly. <laughs> and then 12 grams of carbs, two grams of sugar, 18 grams of protein. Okay, I'm gonna cook this right now. So I have not started eating it. I just mixed it around, but this is the portion. So as you can see, it's a few bites. <laughs> it's fit for a mouse. Um, we love that. I see ham, which I love, uh, potatoes, cheese sauce, and eggs. Let's try it, I have everything right here. It's okay, I don't know. 
Tastes like a greasy pig. The potato's not good. Like, potatoes are always good, but this potato's not. It tastes like a dirty potato, honestly. Like, I don't even know how to, like, explain it. It just tastes like a sad potato. Like, a potato that was underground for so many years. Alone. Self-quarantine. And then the eggs just taste fake. And the sauce is... Nothing? It doesn't taste like anything? And the ham's decent, but... I'm gonna eat it, of course. It's just, like, not that great, to be honest. What a great start to the video, guys. <laughs> So it's only like an hour later and it's already lunchtime because I'm really hungry. <laughs> Lord help us. Okay, so I'm having the three cheese ziti with meatballs. Like I said, I've had this a lot when I was like a teenager and I used to love it. Um, it is 340 calories, so it's a bit heftier than the breakfast. 13 grams of fat, 700 milligrams of sodium. By the end of this week, I'm gonna be a damn hot air balloon bitch. 39 grams of carbs, we love that. We need some carbs in our lives. Four grams of sugar and 15 grams of protein, okay. Let's eat it. It looks and smells really delicious. It has an actual decent sized serving. So let's first try the noodles. Oh, look at that. Look at that little hanging floppy noodle. Mmm. Mmm. That's actually a really good tangy pasta. And the noodles feel heavy and filling, literally. This one's so good. Let's try the little meatball. Those are really good. I don't know why. I thought they would be gross, but they're like delicious. They taste like real ground beef. You know what they taste like? When you order ground beef on a uh, pizza, it tastes just like this ground beef. I love it. Is it going? Yeah. Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> I hear what you do. Like, say hi, hello. Hi, hello. Ah. It is dinner time. I'm having the slow, baby. The slow roasted turkey chat. And it comes with mashed Turkey potatoes. Turkey tit? Tart. And it comes with mashed potatoes and gravy. And it's only 170 calories. I have been uh, munching on some carrots. I'm gonna uh, definitely have some Brussels sprouts later tonight. Um, So I'm just gonna eat this tiny meal now. Yeah, it's 170 calories, I come which is so you. low. That's really low. That's insane. That's not even 300. Uh, 3.5 grams of fat. 690 milligrams of sodium, very high for such a low amount of oh, calories. That's, that's really tiny. 16 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein. Okay, let's first try the potatoes. Probably good. They're actually decent. I yeah. expected less flavor. They do have a processed taste, but they're buttery and there's a slight garlickiness to them. Oh, it's called garlic herb mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. They're very good. Mm. What is that thing you're eating? This is turkey tit. Oh, I hate turkey. A bosom of a turkey. I Let's try this turkey. You. It looks good. If you say so. Kind of chewy. Mm. But the flavor is good. This is kind of chewy. Uh. You're blowing me away. It's kind of shook in me. Okay. I'm enjoying this. I am feeling kind of tired and just like kind of weak today. But I don't feel foggy yet. So we'll see. I'm gonna take my vitamins also, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is day two of this Smart Ones Challenge. Baby, how am I doing? You're doing great, surprisingly. You're still uh, going. Love that for me. Um, Last night, I struggled a lot. I had to have like two apples and a banana. It was literally hell. I was so hungry. And here's my bae about to eat some eggs and I'm very jealous. Who would have thought that I'd be jealous of your food? I mean. <laughs> Anyways, my breakfast is cooked. You wanna see it? So I'm having the ravioli frontini. It is cheese ravioli in a spinach marinara sauce with zucchini and carrots. How many mm. calories? It's 280 calories, five grams of fat, 670 milligrams of sodium, 48 carbs. So this is it. Um, the sauce it doesn't really look like sauce. It's just more just like chunks. That doesn't look that appetizing, but it might be good. Who knows? Here's the inside of a ravioli. Y'all see that? Let's try it. Wow. So it's good. It tastes like ravioli, but honestly, the sauce tastes like a mix of pasta sauce and Taco Bell sauce. I'm like, okay. There's a slight kick in there. A slight pow, poo, poo. I like them. It's good. Okay, y'all, so it is lunchtime. I've been editing, but it's been going well, and I'm hungry again. I am having the Santa Fe rice and beans. 
It is spicy rice and beans with zucchini, a zesty green chili and sour cream sauce topped with part skim mozzarella cheese. 300 calories, five grams of fat, 670 milligrams of sodium, 53 grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein. This is how it looks all mixed up. It actually smells very, very good. Now, usually I don't like corn in like rice dishes. I just feel like the textures don't go together, but I'm gonna have an open mind. Mmm, mmm. This one's very good. The sour cream sauce is actually delicious. The beans, the rice, everything. I thought I would have like a um, cilantro taste, but it really doesn't. And I'm very pleasantly surprised. Oh my God. Is <laughs> 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 so it's night two i've been eating a lot of fruit not that many vegetables because honestly i don't love vegetables but a lot of fruit a lot of apples mostly apples we are apple stands in this house we are and i've been like living on them so <laughs> um tonight i'm having probably the heaviest meal that i will be having all week be careful you're gonna break your wrist oh <laughs> it's so heavy it is the breakfast the reason why it's so heavy is this box has two portions in it and I'm eating both. That this is, is two serving? portions, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Each serving is 230 calories, so this is 460. How? Seven grams of fat, so it's 14 grams of fat. 580 milligrams of sodium, so this is <laughs> 1,160 milligrams of sodium. You're gonna have to pop me with like a tack later. I'm gonna just like deflate. <laughs> uh, 29 grams of carbs. So this is 58 grams of carbs and 12 grams of protein. Let's try it. I have had these back in the day and I loved them. So, oh, I don't see what's in them. Mm. Mm. So, ow, my jaw just popped. It's a tortilla with egg whites, cheese, vegetables, and turkey bacon. By vegetables, I think they mean like peppers. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's how the inside of my ass looks. <laughs> kind of real. Full though. of cheese, <laughs> <laughs> full of queso. And um, this is actually delicious. So far, the best Smart Ones meal I've had. Mm, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just getting more cinematic angles. Okay, I'm gonna take the camera out. I'm gonna take the camera out and you look back. With this is a... not a James Cameron movie. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna take the camera out and you look back with the quesadilla. Okay? Okay. Okay. One, two, go! <laughs> it's so good! Yeah? This is by far the best thing they've made. Mm. Mm. Okay, anyways. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow for day three. Today. Oh. <sighs> so guys, it's day three. I feel tired, a little bloated, but super hungry. I don't even know. Anyways, for breakfast, I am having the cheesy scramble with hash browns. It's a bit different than the other breakfast that I had. Scrambled egg whites with cheddar, Monterey Jack, and reduced fat mozzarella cheeses. That's a whole lot of cheese. We love that. With a side of orange. Homestyle hash browns. 210 calories, seven grams of fat, 430 milligrams of sodium. That's actually very low for a frozen meal. <laughs> 22 grams of carbs, 14 grams of protein. This is how it looks. It looks good enough, right? Let's eat it. Mmm. Mmm. This one's much better than the other breakfast. Like, much better. This one's actually kind of delicious. Oh my God. There's like a cheese sauce that really does that, you know? Mmm. Okay, I love this one. This one is a hit. So it's lunchtime, y'all, and I am about to eat the chicken fettuccine, white meat chicken and fettuccine in a Parmesan sauce. It is 300 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, 540 milligrams of sodium, once again, not as high as some others. Um, 44 grams of carbs, three grams of sugar, 18 grams of protein. And this is what it looks like. Get close, baby. Come here. They zoom in. Give them an HD close-up shot. Give the people what they deserve. Oh yeah, you see that? It's a lump chest. It smells really good. Oh, and those are kind of stuck together. It's glummy. Mmm, mmm. 
The noodles and sauce are very good. A very light Alfredo flavor, but quite refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the chicken, because I usually don't like frozen chicken like this. The chicken's not bad. I've had much, much, much worse. Much worse. Wow. Okay. Yay! I'll see y'all at dinner! So it is dinner time on day three, and I've had the laziest day. I haven't even showered yet, but I don't smell, don't worry. I'm a classy broad. When I'm lazy, I'm like way hungrier than usual. Like all I wanna do is just eat, so it's been a struggle today, honestly, like a big struggle. So I'm having a very early dinner, it's like four something, but tonight I'm gonna probably eat some broccoli or something, something to hold me over. But anyways, I'm having this homestyle beef fat broth. This is probably the classiest, smart ones meal I've had yet. So I'm very excited. Come close, come close. Come on, not that close. This is the meal. You can see beef chunks. Looks almost real. Um, and some green beans, carrots, potatoes. I hope it's good. Let's try beef. Mm. Mm, it's good, it's good. It's good. At first, it didn't have like any flavor, but as you chew it, it does taste like pot roast. It does. It's actually just a little, a little, you know what I mean. You know, bitch. Now let's try some of the veggies. I actually like the beef. The veggies taste pretty, pretty fresh. Pretty good. I like this meal. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go eat it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's day four and last night we went shopping um, for our weekly meals and of course I bought, I bought tons of smart ones and then it's some food for after this challenge is over. So I wanted to show y'all the second batch of smart ones that I got for the rest of the week. Now I was so excited. They had these mini cheeseburgers. Oh my God, as a teenager I used to eat these all the time and I was two of them. They're actually decently filling and I truly love them so much. So I got one, two, Tres of them and I am so excited. Also, Smart One doesn't have like a massive variety like Miss Link Cuisine. That hoe has been around the block. <laughs> Smart Ones is more conservative. So I got the breakfast quesadilla again. I loved it so much. I also got the cheesy scramble with hash browns again because I loved it. And I got a couple new ones as well. I got the three cheese ziti marinara. This is the meatballless version. Broccoli and cheddar roasted potatoes. Looks very healthy and pretty delicious. Anything that has potatoes makes me happy because it's heavy, you know? The traditional lasagna with meat sauce. This feels very heavy, so I'm pumped about that too. And then also the creamy rigatoni with broccoli and chicken. And those are all the new ones that I got. I realized though afterwards that I am one smart one's short. And right now in this day and age, you can't just run to the store for like one little item because it just feels wrong. Like, do you know what I mean? It's just like, I don't know. I like to do everything all at once every week just to like clog up the stores less and all that. So I am going to have to skip one of the meals, which I'm not sad about. <laughs> I'm actually really happy that I made this mistake. And so I'm thinking I might skip today's lunch because I am filming a video. Una is making some delicious desserts and I really want to eat them. So I'm probably going to have desserts for lunch. Uh, but this is like my only like middle of the week cheat moment. Everything else will be on track. Smart ones moment, okay? For breakfast, of course, I'm having the mini cheeseburger. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> the burgers are cooked. I added ketchup and mustard and there's cheese on this side. Um, They smell so good, I'm so excited. They says that they smell like dog food. So I guess that the smell is very acquired. Um, I have a trashy nostril, so. <laughs> wow, okay, so I just noticed that this is two servings. Each burger is a serving, which is kind of ridiculous because there's no way that one burger could be a meal. That is, that portion is just simply too small. So I'm gonna always have both, period. Each burger is 190 calories, eight grams of fat, 360 milligrams of sodium. Let's eat it. I haven't had these in so long, I'm so excited. It's like little Lunchable burgers, basically. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, bitch. Okay. Listen, they taste like a really trashy processed burger you would probably get in like a school cafeteria. You know, I'm spitting everywhere. But who doesn't love a trashy burger? Like, I do, bitch. Like, this is delicious. Mmm, the perfect breakfast, girl. Get that cow in before the sun comes up. <gasps> Are you shirtless, you whore? I will not have whores in my Christian hands. <laughs> 
So it's a very late dinner. I wasn't that hungry because like I said, I skipped my Smart Ones meal for um, lunch because I didn't have enough Smart Ones. And instead I feasted on something that Una baked. I did feast on an Oreo cake. I had so much of it that I feel so bloated and I'm not eating at 8.30. Now listen, hopefully it doesn't affect my results. It could, but it has recharged me and I feel prepared to finish this week. I'm halfway through and I will do this. So now I'm gonna eat my dinner. Lasagna. It's the traditional lasagna with meat sauce. Lasagna and ricotta cheese filling. <laughs> filling? Cheese filling <laughs> topped with fart skin mozzarella cheese. It's 330 calories, very low for lasagna. It's usually very high. Don't film it and take the pants. That's our um, robotic pad. It's, <laughs> it's a self cleaning pad. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me, not sponsored. 12 grams of fat, 650 milligrams of sodium, 41 grams of carbs, 16 grams of protein. Not the prettiest lasagna. It's, it's delicious. It's very um, discombobulated. I used to eat those things. Those were good. Yeah, but it smells amazing, right? Yeah. I think okay. I've had this before. I'm pretty sure. Are y'all ready? <laughs> okay, baby. Cut it out. Oh, that sugary cake has me in a good mood. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. Not the best lasagna ever, but... Very good for low calorie lasagna. It feels pretty heavy. This is definitely gonna fill me up. I really like it. It just tastes like a very light flavored um, lasagna. Not strong, just good and light. So I'm here for it. I will see y'all tomorrow. Welcome back to my smart ones. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Pause the video. I just wanna say, Thank you so much to all of my tomato members, you guys. Oh my gosh, so these are my silver, gold, and platinum members. They each get a picture in my video every single month. I just wanna say thank you all so much. Like, it's been so fun to um, get to know you guys. You are all so sweet and so generous, and I'm eternally grateful because you guys are literally keeping this channel alive. Literally. <laughs> so thank you so, so, so much for everything that you do for me and all the support. I love each of you so much. And don't forget to message me on Twitter and Instagram. Okay, so it's day five, breakfast, and I'm having the burgers again. They are getting me through this Smart ones week. I feel like a dumb one girl for doing this challenge. <laughs> so I'm just gonna eat them. I'll see y'all at lunch. Okay guys, so it's lunch time. I started editing my Una video. I'm very excited about it. I am having the broccoli and cheddar roasted potatoes. Not that pumped about this one, but I gotta eat it. 200 calories, seven grams of fat, 690 milligrams of sodium, 26 grams of carbs, nine grams of protein. Now, it doesn't look that good. It's literally just potatoes and broccoli. I mean, it doesn't look bad, that's for sure, but it just doesn't look appetizing, you know? And the cheese sauce is like really clear. And that's kind of off-putting. So let's try some potato in broccoli. It's all right. It's like a really plain potato with really plain broccoli and a slight cheesy flavor. Like, what's that? So it's definitely not bad. It's just not good. <laughs> it's just like really basic. So whatever. I'm gonna go eat it. Feeling a little bit tired these days, but nothing crazy, honestly, so. Y'all, ha! It is dinner time, and I've had the longest, busiest day. I edited and posted an Una Gardenia video. You know, it's really hard to edit her because it's hard to make her look good. She's such a whore with a whore mouth. I am eating the creamy brigatoni with broccoli and chicken. Not really craving it, but I have two of them in the freezer. I don't know how I ended up with two of them, but it doesn't look that good, guys. It was kind of crusty. Little chicken pieces. It looks like a very small portion. I hope that I make it through the night without cheating, honestly, because this, this, this does not look great, honestly. So I'm just gonna grab some noodles first. Why is my cheek red? What is that? I'm all red. My whole face is red. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. The noodles are nice and thick and they're very eggy actually. And the um the sauce is actually good. It's a very light Alfredo sauce, but I like it. Now let's try the chicken with the broccoli. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not as bad as I thought. 
honestly. I mean, it tastes like all the smart ones chickens. It's all right, but the noodles are great, so. Oh my gosh, so it is breakfast on Saturday, the second to last day. I'm so proud of myself, guys. Like, I feel like I've been very successful in this because I've been able to eat fruit. I've honestly felt a lot better than I have in the past. A little foggy here and there, but like, way better than my other challenges to be honest um and also these burgers which i've been having for breakfast now for three mornings have really been getting me through they're actually very filling and kind of like set the day with a full belly so i don't feel like that deprived and they just been so good so mm. Mm, bitch tomorrow's the final day i did that it's going say hi baby hi baby <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it is lunchtime. I'm having the angel hair marinara. So these noodles are actually straight from heaven. God just gives the angels some haircuts and then snips this. Then you just catch them. This actually looks delicious, minus the that. zucchinis and all that I stuff. I used to love that. Yeah. Even the zucchinis, yeah. So it's angel hair pasta in a marinara sauce with spinach and zucchini. So the portion actually does seem to be pretty decent. It's pretty heavy, which I'm happy about. So it's a heavy day of food. 200 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 590 milligrams of sodium, 37 carbs, 7 grams of sugar, 7 grams of protein. Bitch. Oh, look at that. Mmm, that was quite good. You put some Parmesan cheese on it, delicious. This is very good. The sauce is very flavorful. Mm. The noodles are very filling and dense in your mouth. I try the zucchini though. I think it's good. If you eat it with the pasta, eat it with the pasta. It's alright. Yeah, it's, it's good. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to lunch. Oh. So for dinner, I am having the three cheese ziti marinara, which I basically had before, but that was the meatball version. This is just like the plain version. This one actually looks better because it looks like it has more noodles and just more heftiness to it. Oh, there goes a the damn noodle. Are you kidding me? Anyways, I'm just gonna taste it again for you guys, and I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> Mm, mm. It's honestly one of Smart One's best ones. Simple pasta. Guys, it's the final day! And I'm so happy. <laughs> because I can finally eat normal food again tomorrow. I'm so happy. Okay, so I'm having the cheesy scramble with hash browns again. Y'all saw me eat this before, but I'm gonna eat it again. So good. It is lunchtime and y'all know that I accidentally got two of these kinds and I didn't love it that much. Anyways, I'm having it for lunch. I'm about to go eat and um, good thing is dinner will be better. I'm very excited for it. Guys, I made it. I made it! It is the final meal of the Smart Ones week. Tomorrow I'm back to real food, girl! And I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, so I'm having the breakfast quesadillas. One of the most delicious smart ones. Might as well end it with a delicious bang. They might be too hot to eat, but I'm gonna take a bite for y'all. Ooh, they're hot, they're hot. <laughs> Ow. Bitch, I'm ecstatic. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for the weigh-in. Oh my God. Guys, I'm done. It is the next day and I just took a little caca and I weighed myself and y'all, the results are in. I am now 160.5. I lost 2.1 pounds. So listen, of course, Smart Ones does work because of the calorie deficit. And I just ate fruits and veggies otherwise. But no offense to Smart Ones, there are healthier ways to lose weight, like eating natural, whole grain, healthy foods. It was a struggle, just like uh, the um, Lean Cuisine challenge but honestly this week was so much better because i was able to eat fruits and veggies like it changed everything by the way a little psa i'm not telling people to go on diets to go on smart ones to to do anything like that this is just an experiment for me and i personally don't think that smart ones is a healthy way to lose weight no offense to smart ones <laughs> i just don't so just try to eat healthy as healthy as possible and as clean as possible and yeah so this was such a fun experiment thank you guys so much for watching remember if you want to become a member i have my music on there now so you can check that out if you want to also live streams secret twitter and instagram all that stuff the link is the top of the description um i will see you guys next video okay i love you so much Ooh.